Hey, you Hello. guys, I like you guys. You're good guys. <laughs> we are good guys, yeah. <laughs> you, are good guys. you play a good guy in this movie as well, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, what's it like playing a, a character like this in a comedy, which is uh, based around a very serious subject? It was just something slightly different to do, you know. And, and I think in that last year I'd done Pride, and then I'd done Macbeth, and then I did a couple of films for TV. And... Uh, and there was a couple of months and, and, and this came up and I just thought it'd be great to do something different in light of the array of characters that I just done, you know, and you're just always looking for new things to do, really. And I'd seen a couple of performances Sam Rockwell had done, I just remembered, and, you know, in the way, way back, and he'd just been the, the guy, and I thought, I just wouldn't mind being the guy for once. <laughs> Sometimes it's just as simple as that, you know? Is it... Hey, David, how are you doing? Right. Yeah, Somewhere I had a copy of Landmines down the Broadway. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, yeah, uh, in terms of your character as well, like you said, you wanted to be the guy or a guy in, in yeah. something like this. Um, what is it about the character that appealed to you? It was just fun. It was just fun. I liked the relationship that they had, you know, um, and um, it, it just seems to be just, as some, like I say, it was just something different to do. There's no edges. You know, sometimes it's like you can create all these edges for characters, you can create all these scenarios and make things more interesting than they actually are. When, when everything was there in Moena's script, you know? And I thought, it's just a relationship between a couple who were struggling with IVF and the strain that their, uh, you know, his missus and friend has on their relationship when she gets breast cancer. And um, that's all you can do is play the different kind of things that are hitting off. Mm -hmm. Can um, I ask a bit about working with um, Tony and Drew as well? Two yeah. great performances in this film. What were they like on set? Great. Brilliant. Drew was a breeze. She's great to work with. She puts you at ease. She's been around it forever, you know. And some people who've been around it forever aren't as accommodating as Drew. And she, she's very, very cool to work with. And um, she don't mind talking about... You know, she don't mind talking about E.T. and all that. <laughs> Which is great, because some people don't. You know, you try and talk to them about something and they like, you know, they shut up shop. Which is great. And, uh, yeah, she just puts you at ease. I loved it. And Tony's quite a force. I didn't have many scenes with Tony. But she's, one scene in particular, she was quite the force of uh, nature. <laughs> I got quite scared. <laughs> and finally, can I just ask you about Macbeth, which is coming out here uh, yeah. in a couple of weeks' time. What was it like making that? And what, what's Michael Fassbender like That's in that? That's what I mean. It's a different thing. You asked me about this and, you know, Macbeth. And that, I can't keep turning up playing the same guy all the time. It's, it's fucking boring. So... I don't want to make a career of doing the same stuff all the time, so you couldn't get more different to Banquo than this, and whether it works or not, I have no idea, but I give it a go. Um, making with Beth was an amazing experience. To work with a director like Justin Kurzel, who's a real visionary, he just is. And, um, you know, Michael was great in the role. There was great camaraderie, and um, it was a brilliant experience. It was tough, but it was a brilliant experience. Excellent. Cheers. Well, we look forward to it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Hey, nice Cheers. One, Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.